good morning student now uh, already you have studied uh, some parts of circle that perpendicular drawn to the chord bisect the chord or the segment joining center of circle and midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord there are two theorems and uh, that uh, co examples on that theorem but i am expecting uh, this example you have to solve last one but no one solved so today try to solve if any doubt then you can ask me if not then it's okay and if doubt then i will explain it in a next period so see then now today we'll start new point uh, that is properties of chord okay so now uh, properties first property this theorem is very important right in your notebook also this theorem is not asked in the exam but we have to use many times this lesson totally this lesson is very important for 10th standard so be serious study it properly uh, theorem is congruent chord of a circle are equidistant from the center of circle means if in a circle one circle two congruent chords are there then they are equidistant from the center of circle for example ab and cd these two are congruent chords o is the center means this op distance and oq distance is same okay this is the uh, perpendicular drawn from this and this is the perpendicular for this okay so what is then given in a circle with the center o chord ab is congruent to chord cd and op is perpendicular ab oq is perpendicular cd so we have to show this distance from the center of circle is same so here what we have to do constructed part join this ao and od this is the constructed part so now here we know this ap it perpendicular bisect the chord previously you have studied so this is the half of this one and dq is half of dc or cd perpendicular drawn reason also written the center of circle to its chord bisect the chord so now here ab and cd these two are congruent that's why their half parts also congruent means this ap and dq are also same because this is the uh, half of part and chords are congruent then half of that is also congruent then here we can say segment ap is congruent to segment dq suppose this is the first segment of uh, equal length now here you have to consider this triangle apo and dqo okay in this two triangle what is congruent this ap dq is congruent already we written from first reason this hypotenuse oe and od is congruent because these are the radii of the same circle radius of this same circles are congruent so more than one so this is reason radii of the same circle that's why if hypotenuse and one side is congruent hypotenuse and one side is congruent then these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse side test if these two triangles are congruent automatically these distances are congruent therefore we can say op is equal to oq because cs ct corresponding side of a congruent triangle hence the theorem is proved if congruent chords are in the circle they are equidistant from the center of circle okay so then converse of this theorem we will see now see here the chords of a circle equidistant from the center of circle are congruent see now previously we proved if chords congruent they are equidistant now if this distance are same then these chords are congruent means converse of this previous theorem so what is here given in the circle this is the center o then op is perpendicular this one is perpendicular and this distance is given congruent now in previous theorem chords are given congruent now op is equal to oq now we have to show chords are congruent okay so here again you have to draw this one hmm? then uh, here hypotenuse oa is congruent to od here what what reason is what radii of same circle because these are the radius and we know in a circle radius are having same distance then op is congruent to oq this is given okay so again these two triangles are congruent this is right angle triangle hypotenuse side is congruent so by which test hypotenuse side test these two triangles are congruent then if two triangles are congruent then we can say ap is congruent to qd why corresponding side of congruent 
triangle so ap is equal to qd but we know this is perpendicular this ap is half of ab okay then dq is also half of cd so ap is ap and qd same so these two are also same this half of cancel so ab is equal to cd therefore segment ab here you have to write the reason huh? it is how it is half perpendicular drawn from the center bisect the chord bisect the chord this reason is here you have to write therefore this segment ab is congruent to cd means uh, chord ab is congruent to chord cd okay so i think this is simple one huh? so one more solid example we'll see now see here in the figure uh, o is the center ab is the chord cd ab and cd is the chord both are congruent this op is 4 then what is oq very simple now this is congruent then we know these distances are same but here you have to write this say chord ab is congruent to chord cd it is given these are the perpendicular okay these are perpendicular means these are the distance from the center of circle so it is equidistant so op is a 4 distance of the center o then that is also 4 another also perpendicular distance is 4 so very small exercise only three examples are there so here from this first and third i will solve second you have to solve many of the students not that taking efforts huh? i am uh, observing that previously that golecha and that savant and whatever we they are sending that uh, photos of that solve example till now last one or two months your response is not good just four or five students they are sending uh, regularly that assignment completion okay that is not good when you will report i will check your notebook first have you complete or not that is very serious be serious and complete it okay so now we will see the examples on this two. see here so first one figure is not given you have to draw the figure then uh, radius of circle is here 10 centimeter okay this is 10 this is 10 uh, there are two chords of length 16 centimeter this is 16 centimeter no so it is perpendicular drawn hmm? a b and c d these are 16 centimeter okay now this distance suppose here m and here n o m and o n we know these are 10 10 because both distances are same no radius of circle is given okay 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 this is not given this one you have to find from the center so join this any one of this and this is 10 centimeter suppose oc oc is 10 centimeter radius perpendicular distances we have to find hmm? okay then suppose here you have to find on is what okay on is what this is distance you yes, see what will be the distance of these chords from the center of circle if these two chords are congruent we know om and on are congruent so you can find any one of this so in a right angle triangle so see then in a right angle triangle o n c which theorem here you have to apply pythagoras theorem okay by pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem okay so then apply here oc square is equal to o n square plus n c square but here this n c is value not given this uh, c d is given so this n c we want it is what half of c d how perpendicular bisect the chord this is the reason okay drawn from the center so half of cd cd is what 16 so half of 16 is what 8 centimeter so put this value put this value here so oc is what 10 square is equal to on is not given that one we have to find and nc is we found it it is 8 square so 100 is equal to on square plus 64 this 64 is plus when it come left side it become minus equal to o n square okay so subtraction is 36 o n square so we want the root 
take the root of both sides this one is on and 36 root is 6 cm this is the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle if on is 6 then om also 6 because both are same is equal to 6 cm so therefore here what is your answer therefore the distance here you have to write in word of this chord of these chords from the center of circle center of circle is 6 centimeter is 6 centimeter very simple examples okay now second example we will see see here this is different one but very simple using the given information if you will draw the figure now that is very easy to solve the example what is given here segment pm suppose this is pm and pn are the congruent chords these two are congruent chords okay i of a circle with the center c center is c show that ray pc when we draw this ray pc is bisector of this n p m means these two angles are congruent we have to show this is bisector okay so now here we'll see what uh, construction we drawn draw this cm segment cm and see this is constricted part okay now here two triangles form hmm? in a triangle see here p c m and triangle p c n how it will be drawn have you understood see here p m and p n means one point is common in both now p so form p this one these two chords are there if points are different then we can draw separately these two chords yeah okay so now here in triangle p c m and p c n so tell me what is congruent see here first one we can write segment p m is congruent to segment p n what the reason what is the reason for this this is already given okay now can we say this cm and cn is congruent here i will write c segment cm is congruent to segment cn written what is this in the circle this is the center we know these are the radii of the same circle every time here you have to write the reason when you will show two triangles are congruent and one more segment is remain that is what segment pc see in the both triangle that pc is there so we can say segment pc is congruent to segment pc this triangle also this triangle also so here reason is what this is the common side of bo both triangle so we shown these all three segments corresponding segments are congruent so directly we can say this triangle pcm is congruent to triangle pcn by which test yes 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 test by yes 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 test okay now tell me if these two are congruent these two triangles are congruent so can we say this angle mpc this mpc is congruent to angle npc can we say yes because corresponding angle of congruent triangle means when we show two triangles are congruent then we can show uh, we can say their corresponding sides are congruent as well as their corresponding angles also congruent so if these two angles we shown the congruent then what is then ray pc is the bisector of angle pcm therefore if these two angles are congruent then we can say ray pc is the bisector of angle n p m i think everyone understood this theorem also this proof also so that is uh, expected at least this one example you have to complete second one huh? and send it huh? your timetable already uh, set up 9th and 10th when you will report that will be start but till we will follow the old timetable okay thank you have a nice day